Black Brant is a hardy sea goose that each fall flies nonstop 4,000 miles from Cold Bay, Alaska to Baja, California. After spending the winter in the warm and sunny Sea of Cortez, the Brant returns to the sky to fly back to Cold Bay, where it will mate, lay its eggs on a grassy depression by a tundra pond, and raise its young. On the trip north, the geese stop along the way at estuaries, those places where rivers meet the sea and salt and fresh waters mix. The geese seek eelgrass, a nutritious plant that grows in estuaries and nourishes many species of wildlife. As part of an international project to monitor black brant in North America, the South Slough National Estuary and Research Reserve conducts an annual census of migrating brant aided by students from Marshfield High School in Coos Bay. My name is Tom Gaskill and I'm the Education Coordinator at the South Slough National Estuarine Research Reserve. Uh, this is Coos Bay out here and uh, the project that we're working on is the International Brant Goose Monitoring Project. Uh, what we're looking at is a migratory population of sea geese. They nest up in the Arctic, up in the tundra, and uh, in the fall uh, when those young have fledged, they gather at a place called Cold Bay, Alaska, which has the largest eelgrass beds in North America. Eelgrass is this lovely rooted flowering plant that grows out in the intertidal zone. Uh, it is a very rich plant in and of itself, and it also provides a lot of uh, substrate for different animals to grow on and plants to grow on. And so for the brand, it's an energy source, a lot like a power bar or a cliff bar. You know, it's got a real punch to it. Uh, what the brant do in the fall is they feed up on that eelgrass. Here's some eelgrass right here. This is some uh, detrital eelgrass. But you can see the, the roots here and uh, the blades of this plant. So they'd feed on this till they fatten themselves up because they take a long journey. They're going to fly uninterrupted uh, for about 4,000 miles over the Pacific Ocean where eelgrass is not available to them and they move uh, down to Baja, California. We don't see an overwintering population here in Coos Bay, or at least not that we've recorded uh, for some time, but there was one at one time. Uh, they also uh, overwinter in the Puget Sound area up in Washington and up into British Columbia along uh, the Vancouver Island along the East Coast. Uh, some of them even overwinter in Cold Bay, Alaska, uh, only the hardiest. We have students up in British Columbia, uh, now down in California, that are working uh, with this project, and down in Mexico and up in uh, Alaska. Um, the project has a curriculum designed primarily for middle school, but we've been able to apply that to high school, and actually we've used it with younger students as well. And this project has been in existence since 1995, so it's really uh, been around quite a while. Thanks in part to the observations the students collect, scientists monitoring the Brant population say that the goose's prospects are looking up. A key to their continued improvement is protecting eelgrass, the vital plant that nourishes them, from pollution and harm.